much still the only one while funny to watch back. I know. Well. I was being quite funny. Hello. Hello. If you didn't already know, which I'm guessing you didn't, my name is Neve and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Adri and we are going to talk about being bisexual, which we have just talked about for 40 minutes, but the video got deleted. <laughs> so now what's going to happen is we're going to do it all again. If you would like to see more of us, then follow our Instagrams, I'll put it all on screen, follow Adri's acting Instagram. We are bevving, we are drinking um, fruit juice, and I just thought it'd be nice to do this video a little bit intoxicated because there's no way I'm going to come out online without being intoxicated anyway. <laughs> so, this is me saying I'm bi, and also Adri is too, and we're just going to talk bad. about it because... If you're bi and you're watching this, it's a hard not life, isn't it? Yeah, there's nobody that talks about being bisexual, like, properly, openly, because everyone's like, what is bi? How do you know you're bi? You're greedy, you like these people, this people, that people, so... There's so many stereotypes and we just want to punch them in the face. And also, if you're wondering whether you're bi or not, which I do every single day, but I am, you can watch this video and you can feel a little bit better. So now we're going to chat shit for probably like another hour. So, yeah, it's not let's necessary. start. <laughs> you know, we've already told each other this before. So Adri, how did you know you were bi? Let's so, hear it. <laughs> I, um, you know when you're playing Kiss Chase in, high, in primary school? High school, yeah. Primary school. I, um, I kissed a girl and my parents got told by a teacher and... Oh, shut up. Shut up. Kissed a girl. It was all a big drama. And then um, I was. I should have told the earring story. Which earring story? I've just forgotten. You told me that 10 minutes ago. Um, oh, I forgot my earring. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you okay. told me that. That was a coward. That was like ages ago. Um, the Spanish girl, let's go there. Um, <laughs> Don't worry, because I can just quite anything out. You see the ones where I'm doing it by myself, like, I'll, for ages, I'll just be sat there, like, and then I'll just watch it back, like, what is going on in my head? My family go to Spain every year because we're part Spanish and Hispanic. And um, I basically, I was like 13 or something, I fell in love with a girl. Told her like whole life story, we ended up having a few little cheeky kisses. And then I got back to England and I got with a boy <laughs> and my life was over. <laughs> it's just been cock since then. So when I was like 15 or something, I've got my Traeger's pierce and my parents were completely against me getting any other piercings than like your normal little ear piercing. And then um, one day, because I used to have my hair in a ponytail all the time, I took my hair, I put my hair back up because I was hiding it by like having it down. And my mum was like, finally, she's getting girly, she's having her hair down. Um, and she saw my piercing and we had a huge argument about it. And then she went, is there anything else she'd like to tell me? And I was like, uh, I'm bisexual and she was like what 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 it's just a phase blah, blah, blah. and then so that's when I'm 15 I'm nearly 21 now um I've like about 10 months ago now maybe I got out of a relationship with this guy and then um, after that my parents were like oh so are you still open to females <laughs> and I was like of course yes, I'm open to females down below comment if you are a girl that's it, that's all we're looking if for. If you're a girl, like that's, and subscribe. Like and subscribe <laughs> if you are a girl. Yeah. <laughs> like the stigma of, oh well, yeah. you haven't been with, like if you haven't been with a girl because I've just been in a relationship with boys so everyone just assumes that I like boys. But the truth is, they're not, I, they're not good, they're not that great. Um, if I could choose to just be gay, like I would. <laughs> and it's <in some> sweet. <laughs> <laughs> No, like, I do think, um, you, you, you know that, it's like, how does a straight person know that they're straight? they're straight? How does a gay person know that they're straight? Why is there so much confusion that when a bi person says, I'm bisexual, why do we have to explain that we like both? Like, why is it not just a given, okay, you know that, why do we have to be like, well, have you been with this person? Do you know what it's like? And it's like, all right okay we know like it's in our bodies we feel that so 
why question all of so, like, if you're straight and you're watching this and you're like how do they know how do you know bitch how do you know how did you know you're bad <sighs> well <laughs> i was in a very very straight friendship group in high school like straight like girly girl pretty girls if any of them are watching this now <laughs> they're not that's let's be honest they're not so um but full respect to you there's nothing wrong with being straight obviously and they were all very 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 sound about me yeah. in general but it was hard like growing up in a friendship group like that and like when they all you would talk about was boys and like the next relationship drama it'd always be with boys 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 um but i probably knew when i looked at other girls and thought she's fit and i remember like saying i'd say i tried to ease it in with my like straight friends i'd be like oh that girl like oh she's fit and then they'd be like yeah she's so pretty and then i was like this isn't working pretty. so one day i was like hi i'm bi and they were like okay it wasn't the same with you <laughs> no it was not all friends but <laughs> yeah so i was in like a really big boy group like i've never had like a tight tight group of girls once upon a time there was like four of us um and but i was still very close to the boys because i was very sporty i like i love football pints like get me to the pub watching the football with a pint like that's where i'm in my element it was somebody's like 18th birthday and i remember telling one of my really close guy friends and just another random girl that was there that was bad and then it got back to the girl who i was really good friends with who it was a birthday to and we were meant to sleep in over and bear in mind we we were very very close and we'd shared a bed multiple times she turns around to me and goes i don't want you staying in my bed tonight and i went why like because i hadn't told her that i was bisexual and she was like i don't want lesbian fingers on my bed i was like i'm joking we've i was literally like three days ago you stayed at mine like have I ever touched you? No. Would I ever touch you? No. You're not the kind of girl I'd ever go to for. Being a sexual predator, like, I'm not going to yeah. touch you without your consent just because I fancy girls. It's stupid, like, man. I think we get so much prejudice because it's like, everyone thinks we're greedy. Creedo! You know that I'm greedy for a bit of pussy. Yeah. Because we like two things. I'm sorry, I like to have an option. I can't I can't decide it like if it was my choice I wouldn't like boys. Let's yeah. put it out there point blank. If it was my choice, I would not like boys. Like no, I wouldn't. I don't think it's like right when people are like, yeah, you can only have one or the other. Like when so I, say I'm seeing the guy now, some people go, Well you're straight now because you're seeing a guy. Or, but then no, if next week I'm say I started little. seeing a girl I'm then gay, I'm not, I'm bi, I like both If I'm seeing someone, I will be fully invested in that person Oh um, yeah But it doesn't mean I can't yeah. see a celebrity Or see someone walking down the street Because everyone does it when they're in a relationship Every single person does yeah. it No matter what they say You'll see someone and go, they're attractive Doesn't matter if you want to do things with them or whatever if you want to go and cheat on someone that that's completely different you're gonna story. cheat regardless of your sexuality i'm lucky like every boy that i've been with hasn't it's not lucky this is just how it should be like if, if you're not like this then you are homophobic you are biphobic like period like that is it but every boy i've been with has never like had an issue with me being bisexual ah i've got something to say though some people some boys like that though because they're like yeah. oh, threesome opportunities Fuck off! No! See, that's why like, <laughs> no. I feel bad because like, as a bisexual person, when I was with my ex, I would say to him, like, I'm with you, I love you, like, I am in love with you. Would you let me, like, go off and sleep with the girl just to know what it's like? And he was like, no. And I was like, would you have a threesome? And he was like, yes, because I, I would be open to it because I want to know what it's yeah. like but i'd also be scared to be in a freezing like, i don't want a freezing just because i'm bi though like i'm the type of girl like i'd yeah. probably do anything like for the, for one time but that's not because i'm bi but that like, if because i've only been in relationships it's been very like suffocating without them doing anything yeah. because i've never experienced it 
with a girl and I want to. But if my boyfriend turned around to me and was like, look, I, I want a cock up the arse and I've never had a cock, cock up the arse, but I was like, well, I'd think I'd be like, right, you do that, I'll do this and then we'll, that's it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Obviously a lot of people wouldn't like that. Anyways, you wouldn't like the thought, I wouldn't like the thought of that. Um, actually, that's a whole other part of my sexuality that we're not gonna discuss for like, Remember my ex was like, you wouldn't like it if I just went off on with a boy and I was like, if that is what you needed to find peace within yourself because it caused me so, like I'd stay up all night crying, like, yeah. then fine, do you know what I mean? Like I still mm. love him, but he's not got a vagina, like it's different, it's going to yeah. be different. I've, I've had a threesome. Have you? <laughs> She was like, I've never tried a penis. He boy. He was a boy. But she was like, I've never tried a penis. I want to try one. Can we do something? So basically, we like, it was like, okay, so the three of us had a threesome. And like, we were all single. And that was a different story. And they went baiting me for being bisexual to using them both. Like, yeah. my problem comes when you're seeing somebody and they're like oh you're bisexual so you must want a threesome with a Which girl as well know. and it's like no if i chose to have a threesome i'd have it with two guys to I penetration I putting that out there i wouldn't like <laughs> <laughs> like do you know what i mean like it's it, not about your sexuality it's not and it's it's like if if someone's comfortable to have a threesome or an orgy or what whatever do anything sexually with you then that's a conversation between two people but just because someone's sexuality says that they like both genders yeah. doesn't mean that they're open to having sex with both genders at the same time or do, like anything sexual like just as a given because of their sexuality that's where my problem and sex comes yeah like because people just expect it if i was it. literally i spoke to a boy on tinder the other day like i was like oh i'm queer whatever and he was like oh so what's your thoughts on a threesome then uh, it's like why why is, like, why is a straight person's mind always that's the first thing that they think about like i was seeing somebody and then um, it's the restaurant story like we were seeing each other we weren't boyfriend and girlfriend yet and then he did end up being my boyfriend for like two years but he, me and this other girl that worked there that is also bisexual and she was very openly bi like she told everyone every single person she met she was like i'm a bisexual woman she was proud and she was very upfront about it whereas i'm like if you know you know like if you ask me if yeah you know, you know. of course but if someone's just gonna walk past you and say so i don't scream about it yeah so we were talking about being bi and he walks past and he's like don't you think you should have told me that you were bi before we started seeing each other i was like wow no. like why is it your business to know that like yeah we're seeing each other but i don't need to tell you like my aunt my uncle my dogs my like grandma do you know what i mean like I don't need to tell you everything. If someone came out, if I was seeing someone they came out to bat to me, I'd be absolutely gassed out my head. But like, it wouldn't matter to me in any mm -hmm. way, then I'd be like, oh, sick. Right, well done for being you. <laughs> like, like it, the, why is there not understanding about that? Like, you would never force anyone, well, you shouldn't ever force anyone to come out anyway, so why would you, even if you've seen someone, like, you weren't even fully together either. Yeah. Like, it was a very rough bug at the beginning, I should have listened to it, but... <laughs> <laughs> Literally, when I first started seeing I was also, like, going on dates with... The only girl no! I've ever been on a date with, I know. But when I was speaking to this boy, he was like, oh, you can't... We weren't even fucking together! I was single as a Pringle! I'd never even kissed anyone. And he was like, oh, well, I don't want you seeing... <laughs> her in that way if you want to see me and I think obviously I did genuinely have feelings for this boy more than I did for her yeah but at that point in my life if I could go I probably wouldn't change anything so I wouldn't be where I am now you know that whole fate thing yeah but there's a part of me that's always like if I'd explored that maybe I wouldn't have so many issues within myself about my sexuality yeah. now which just shows bisexuals are loyal it depends on the person like if you're not a loyal person then you are gonna cheat but I'm not gonna cheat because I'm bi. I genuinely think that bisexual people are so much more loyal in a sense than somebody that's straight or gay, like completely one or the other way, because we have so much pressure on us. Mm -hmm. Because society says that we're, we're greedy, that we're, that we're sluts, that we that we will take what we're given, like, and we'll we'll do anything for a shag, which is it's not true. Um.
I keep burping. <laughs> I've always been very comfortable in the fact that I am bisexual, which yeah. I'm very lucky for. So I find it hard to understand why people like struggle because I know you find it a bit more difficult to, because you- It's weird with me because I've never found it difficult to say it like I said, like when I was younger, I think it was, a, I, I, I get defensive about realizing. So like when I was younger, I'd ease people into it without coming out. So I never, I feel like if I'd had a coming out, it yeah. would have been so much easier for me to accept. I feel like as people we overthink sexuality so much because now people, more and more people are saying, oh, it's on a spectrum, it's on a spectrum. And even being someone who's very much on a spectrum and very confused on the spectrum, like I never realised it. And I think because, I think it must be drawn from. People were told by the Bible, by whatever teachings, by, by people, straight, and then obviously that does make kids, so like that does make sense. And yeah. at some point someone did something different and all the straight people were like, no. And I feel like that created this tension on sexuality that never should have been there in the first place. And because we live in a society where that tension is there, I abide by it. I feel like, oh, I need to stay in bed. I feel like I need to make videos about bisexuality because yeah. we're a product of our society but I think deep down deep 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 into like neurological science and shit it isn't a thing it's not a thing we made it up like yeah. straight is something that we made up gay is something that we made up and it's just so fine to be labelled as them if you want to be but our bodies don't adhere to yeah. the labels we put on them yes sometimes that label helps get understanding for how that person behaves, why that person does what they do. But when it comes to sexuality, it's like, everyone's got an opinion on it, apparently. Yeah. Like, because it's such a thing that people think you can choose when you really can't choose. You can't choose to look at someone and go, I fancy you, because that it just happens. That's why people fall in love. That's why people get married. That's, yeah. that's like, a, it's a thing Like you can't choose who, who you find attractive, and then you can't choose who you fall for. I don't know if you can validate this for me because this is something that I struggle with and you might not even be able to because you might deal with it differently but I feel like the way I see men and what I want from men and the way I'm attracted to men even though it's not different it's so different to the way I look at girls and the way I would be with a girl and like treat yeah. them like that and then that part of me is like oh maybe it's just because I treat her as a friend but like no, because I treat you as a friend, or I treat Devin as a friend, or all of yeah. those other girls as a friend. I don't look at you guys and think, oh, uh, I'm gonna try and I'm try it out. Yeah. Things, so. No. Like, like what about other girls? Depending. Yeah, but you do that. Like, say you have boy mates as well. Like, you, you wouldn't. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's a lot of boy mates that I would. Like, not. I would never sit on to Max. Yeah. Ever. ever. You don't. You can't choose who you fall for. So. Why does everyone want to shout and ask why we're bisexual? I know that like you might think that like oh it's hypocritical to sit there and be like why is everyone asking and then to make a video about it but it's because like society has made it an issue for us and society has mm -hmm. made it a thing that we speak about and I've made it a thing that I speak about because I have struggled with internalised like homophobia and shit and so many of us do and like, that's why I want to speak mm -hmm. about it so that less people deal with that shit. Yeah. Like, just because I shout, I'm so proud of being bi because because sometimes I'm so scared of it. Like, and also so many people are so proud of being lesbian or, or gay because there, there's been a time where we weren't allowed. To, and I feel like that's another thing about being like bisexual that pisses me off. People forget that we are part of the LGBT. Yeah. I and we are discriminated yeah. against, and we are like we're discriminated called against by things. people that are supposed to understand yeah, us we're as well, like by the community. Just accepts us for what we are. Like we don't have to choose one or the other. We don't have to answer all of your questions. No, we won't all have threesomes with you. Some of us will. I might. Full stop. <laughs> Obviously, bi struggles because of society and like I understand that are different from lesbian struggles or gay struggles or transgender struggles. Definitely, like yeah. they go through a lot. Mm -hmm. But like, we're not like don't invalidate us no matter what sexuality you are. And I think a lot of people think, oh, we're protected because we can and we will happily hold hands with a boy as well as a girl. But 
I don't want to be have to put in that box for my own safety. Yeah, like we don't want to have to open that part of us to be like, this is the only way we'll be safe and shut down a part of us that is like alive and kicking like. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Yeah, that's just our little talk about being bisexual and shit. Um, we're definitely gonna do another video like this at some yeah. point. Definitely. Um, this has been a bit of a long sit down video. I probably won't even edit that much out of it, but probably not feel like it's valid. And if you don't want to watch all of it, then that's fine. But if you're here, there's no point saying that because you don't know video. Remember to like, subscribe, share this video to your fellow bi's, gays, whatever. The girls and the gays, that's it. So. Um, follow me and Adri on our social media and maybe some editing thing right now. And yeah, cinnamon. Bye! Hello!